hello guys welcome back in my previous video I have done the matrix addition program in Java so this was the one which we have done so in my this video I am going to multiply two matrix the basic structure will be the same but slightly logic will be different and there are certain condition which you have to remember before multiplying two matrix so we will see that later on so first we will create a new project here normal java application go for naming as math matrix multi apply click on finish ok the project file is ready here I am just wanted to remove this comments ok so let me show you what is the first condition here so this is a simple demo for matrix multiplication this is a matrix 1 and matrix b so as you viewing this only you can understand how it is performed first a got multiplied with e then again b got multiplied with g so it's like first row first column so first a will be multiplied with e b and g then again the same will be happen for the second column so again a into f plus b into h so it's like going up or uh, right side right corner and just bring down so it was a safe performance how it is to be done so there are certain condition first of all the matrix column matrix a column should be equals to matrix b row otherwise matrix multiply will not perform or the operation will be not completed and again the resultant matrix will be matrix a row into matrix b so how many matrix A rows should be is present should be present in a result matrix so we will see in the uh, example let's start our example as we will create as usual we create a constructor here it was similar to addition matrix multiply ok I require a uh, till dot scanner class here now I'm going to declare two three array it would be int matrix one matrix two and result matrix and we'll create a scanner object user input we also require different rows and columns we'll see that later on first we'll just have a basic structure of program we'll create a object for the call the constructor it will be matrix multiply obj is equal to new matrix multiply if you want to understand how basic performance of the matrix is done you can check my above link in which I have done the matrix addition program so now I have created the object now I required user to enter two different array or sugar matrix from the user so that later we can define how much size to be uh, assigned for the matrix let me declare here system dot out dot print ln enter number of rows so we will require some variables here like it to be matrix 1 row matrix 1 call mat I am just defining as per my convention row and mat 2 call <coughs> I can specify same message and columns in the same statement also for matrix 1 now mat 1 row will be user input dot next int 
but before that I have to define user input uh, object so I require new scan to be system dot in so okay that's done similar will be the for the calls also okay same has to be done for matrix 2 also so I am just copying the code and just pasting okay it's matrix 2 matrix 2 okay I don't require Allen here okay. I just use print function so now we have defined and in my condition you have checked I will show you the condition which you have checked so matrix A column should equals to matrix B row so now we are going to check the condition here match 1 call if not equal to mat to row then we perform something else we'll write code here <coughs> sorry so if matrix 1 column is not equal to matrix 2 row so we cannot perform the matrix multiplication so we just write a statement matrix 1a1 column should be same as matrix 2 row else we we'll write the here code the first condition as we perform or it has been checked now we'll just write a function here because I don't require the all nested code should be in the same constructor only so I will just have a function matrix mulch operation ok I have just defined if the condition is satisfied so we'll just call this function here ok so entire code will be placed in this code I didn't require anything because ok so if matrix column 1 first matrix column 1 if not equal to matrix 2 grow then it cannot perform the multiplication as else part we will just call this function so now we can just define the array size so it would be matrix 1 is equal to new int and I have just defined m81 row here m81 one call S same would be defined for the matrix 2 also instead of mat 1 I will write mat 2 here so size has been defined for the array and in my condition I have checked that the mat result matrix should be matrix A row so result matrix should have same number of row in matrix A and same number of columns which is present in matrix B so it will be like result well to new int here it would be mat 1 row mat 2 call so our result matrix is also defined now I'm going to take the input from the user so it would be system dot out dot print ln just ask user to enter enter the match one row into I'm just specifying the digit value 
if you don't you can just write enter number of digit otherwise you can just check how many number user has to enter so i'm just specifying this digit this number of digits should be entered number digits for matrix one will require for loop it would be int i is equal to zero i is less than mat one pro here i plus plus also require one more condition here or a loop here it would be int j is equal to zero j should be less than mat one call j plus plus and we just define take the input matrix one i comma j here is equal to user input let's go input dot okay next int so this was the code for taking the input for the for matrix one okay just save it same to be done for the matrix two also just copy this code and change whenever there is to be required here matrix 2 ok matrix 2 is defined so let's test once check if it is getting properly or not go and just clean and rebuild the project here let's see okay go for run here so enter number of rows and column for matrix one okay let's see there should be two comma three and the rows and the column for matrix 2 so we have to specify the condition so first matrix column should be equals to second matrix row if i suppose i just avoid those conditions which should give an error matrix 1 column should be same as the matrix 2 row so we'll just go and run again it will be 2 and 3 and similarly it would be now we'll ask for a 6 digit Nine digit four, four five six seven. Now, so it's perfectly working. Now we have to perform the multiplication. Okay. Now we are going to perform the matrix. So it will be for loop again. Int i is equal to zero here. I should be less than m one row i plus plus ok it's mat1 for j is equal to 0 here this should be less than ma2 calls call j plus plus let me define int here you also require one more loop here p let int k is equal to 0 k is less than matrix 2 row here k plus plus and one more thing i just missed out i require some variable so let it be to store the value as a temporary so let it be sum is equal to 0 so let it be it be sum is equal to sum plus matrix 1 i to be k here into matrix k 
and J matrix 2 let's save it every time I just have to store those va some value into result array so it will be let like V I J here and again sum would be 0 so matrix performance has been done now we just have to print those values to be proof ok I just write a message here somehow dot print ln matrix multiplication is int i is equal to 0 i should be less than and what we have defined in the result l should be matrix 1 row and second it would be matrix 2 calls so it in j is equal to 0 j should be less than matrix 2 call j plus plus and we'll just print the value here dot print and we just print here result array here result to be i comma j okay now just give a proper line here print slash sun let's save it this is it we have done with our program let's save it once again and just run first we'll check our first condition let me define the number of rows to be 2 and 2 and let me have some different value so it should not accept so it's giving the error we'll just go ahead and run again with 2 comma 3 and it will be 3 comma 1 so matrix will be 1 2 3 4 5 6 for the first matrix and 3 it will be 1 comma 2 comma 3 so now output is generated it's not quite well because see what we have defined the result array yes it should be mat matrix 1 row and matrix 2 column so matrix 1 row is 2 the 2 row is defined and matrix 2 column so matrix 2 columns is 1 so only one column is generated you can go ahead for different value different row I will show you 2 comma 3 it will be 3 comma 2 so I will just enter for find this it will so be 1 comma 2 comma 3 now 3 so first should be matrix 2 rows and 2 columns so this is a result so this was the matrix multiplication so we have created the object we have taken the input from the user the only important was that this one we have to specify the matrix result should be mat 1 row and mat 2 columns and this so this is the formula which you have to perform it is similar which we have seen if you like this video please like subscribe and comment for this channel thanks for the watching